And if you really want to maximize efficiency, the smallest livestock might surprise you. Okay, it's not going to surprise you at all. Crickets. Gross? Maybe. Efficient? Absolutely. Personally, I'd place crickets in the survival or desperation category when it comes to direct human consumption. The idea of eating whole crickets doesn't exactly ring my bell. But grinding them into a powder and slipping them into pancakes or baked goods, that's a different story. And honestly, a pretty smart option if you can get past the ick factor. Crickets are one of the most efficient protein sources that you can raise at home. They convert feed into protein far better than chickens or cows, and they take up almost no space. A single plastic tote in a warm shed or barn is enough to get started. I definitely wouldn't want them chirping away in the house, but outside? Totally doable. Nutritionally, 100 grams of Crickets delivers about 13 grams of complete protein alongside B12 iron and even omega-3s. And because they're cold-blooded, they use far less feed and water than traditional livestock. Think of them like high-efficiency LEDs compared to old fluorescent bulbs. Less input, better output. And if you're already raising chickens, here's where it shines. Just three to five, two to three foot rotating bins of crickets can produce enough protein to fully meet the monthly needs of a dozen hens, delivering roughly 6.5 kilograms, 14 pounds, of highly digestible protein. Crickets thrive on food scraps, bran, and garden waste, turning low value inputs into high value nutrition, just like the chickens. It's one of the few homegrown feeds that can close the loop without needing a tractor or a field. Now, not everyone's ready to eat bugs. I'm not there yet either. But in long-term self-reliance plan, they're worth exploring. You can dry them, grind them into a flour, mix them into baked goods, or even protein bars. And if you've never eaten a single one, they still make an excellent feed source for your chickens or fish. So whether you're raising hens or hoppers, add, adding animals to your system can dramatically boost your protein output. And it all fits neatly into a regenerative closed loop setup. Whether you eat them or not, crickets remind us every piece of the system should do more than just one thing.